hi and welcome to this video so today we are going to be looking at a beginner topic known as other types and in this video we are going to be covering what are other types examples of other types the market order and the limit order and finally the stop order so what are other types an other type is a pattern that traders use to instruct their stock brokers or forex brokers to execute a stock market trade the other type depends on the investors trading objective so basically there are three types or other types for most forex brokers or trading platform but there's some several other types such as the bracket order market the day order one console order or trailing stop order but for this video we're going to focus on the market order the limit order and the stop order so the market order which is the simplest type of order to execute is just basically clicking buy or sell on your or your trading platform or your brokerage platform it instructs the broker to buy or sell a specific amount of the currency or security at the best available price so this is an instant or immediate execution kind of order where you just simply click buy or sell and your broker almost instantly execute the trade but the downside to this is that your trade may not always execute at that particular price to which you want it to be executed most especially in scenarios where you have a high impact news being released and you have very sharp spike in price so you, there is high tendency that using a market order your trade won't be executed at the best possible price which you wanted it to execute the second type which we should be looking at is the limit order and there are two types of limit orders the buy limit and the sell limit so we are going to be looking at this more on the graph so for the buy limit a buy limit is basically a pending long order which is placed below the market price so when you have a pending long order below the market price that is the buy limit and the trade enters when the price rebounds from the bottom of that pending order so assuming you have an in an uptrend such as this and you hope that the price drops to a certain price in the future before continuing back in your uptrend so in scenarios like this you set you set the buy limit order so that whenever price drops down to such areas the trade is executed automatically so even if you're not on your trading station the trade automatically opens so when price at a certain price you determine that it will rebound or retrace and come down to a lower price before continuing back in the buy trend so that's where you use the buy limit order so the second type which is a sell limit order is when a pending short order is placed above the market price so when a pending order assuming that price is on a downtrend and you hope that in the future probably a matter of hours or minutes or days depends on what type of trader you are the price retraces back to the upside before continuing its downtrend in scenarios like this we use the sell limit order so what this does is that when you set the sell limit order and price retraces back to a higher price it 
executes automatically before continuing down to the downside. So the third order type which we have is the stop order or sometimes called the stop loss order. So there are actually two types also on the stop order and we have the buy stop and the sell stop. Now the the buy stop is when a pendant long order is placed above the market price and we follow the breakout so whenever you're anticipating a breakout in the direction of your trend you place a buy stop order so assuming you have something of this nature you believe that from this point where the arrow is that price will push up and break out the structure and continue pushing up to the upside. You could place a buy stop order so that when price reaches such level, the trade is executed and you ride with the trend. So this type of order is mostly applicable in breakout trends. So for a sell limit, for a sell stop, So for a sell stop, this is basically the direct opposite. You have a downtrend and you're hoping that after such retracement, the price will keep pushing downwards in the direction of the trend from this point of entry here. So what you do is when you're at this zone, you place your sell stop and when price comes down and crosses this order will be triggered and you enter the trade now these orders are executed automatically at the best possible price which you as a trader must have selected i hope you found this video helpful if you did, please do subscribe and leave a like and comment down in the comment section.